My name is uh, Anne Belinda Bjerre. I work as a senior scientist in Danish Technological Institute. I work uh, mainly on biorefinery from second and now third generation uh, feedstocks to uh, energy carriers and um, other product, products, value-added products coming from the different feedstocks. Algae is an important biomass for future uh, energy production uh, or even food production and ingredients for uh, food and feed uh, because um, we need more and more land to, so, to support uh, the populations uh, in the world. It will be about uh, 9 to 10 billion uh, people in uh, 2050 and uh, at that time they will all have probably the same requirements for food, feed, uh, energy. When we use algae we don't take up uh, terrestrial land, agricultural land for biomass production. We go to the sea uh, with salinity and we can actually grow algae which are uh, very, very uh, um, uh, close to normal plants. They take up uh, carbon dioxide and nutrients from their environment for their growth. And they have a very fast uh, production rate. Uh, I think it's about uh, 10 or 20 times uh, those we see uh, from the land-based uh, plants and crops. So we don't take up arable lands uh, when we produce uh, algae biomass and uh, it seems to us that they have a lot of new and also well-known components that we can use the same way as we use um, grain and uh, plant materials uh, also as fermentation feedstocks. At the moment the most interesting compounds are maybe for cosmetics, the more value-added and high-value-added products in the algae, uh, which are very interesting. The antioxidants are uh, sometimes even 10 times as uh, more um, antioxidative as we see in the land-based uh, antioxidants from plants. And uh, we don't even know how many different compounds that we can find. And it seems that a lot of them has good health properties as well, so that uh, you can use the biomass material for feed and food uh, additives and ingredients so that you can protect animals and people from different illnesses. At Danish Technological in in Institute, we focus actually in different areas. We look uh, first uh, in the cultivation, in the harvesting, conditioning, storage, and also how to refine the biomass, how to fractionate it into different sugar components, how to turn it into the energy carriers or chemicals, whatever we want to, and how to extract those important value-added and high-value-added products that can be used for cosmetics and even pharmaceuticals uh, in future um, industrial products. The most interesting result is maybe quite obvious for some uh, is that uh, the seasonal variation that we find when we grow the algae they are very different from this uh, when uh, we take samples in spring it's similar to growing grass in the field or corn mm -hmm. cereals in the field it starts like a small small leaves and then it turned uh, in it's turned into grain it's exactly the same with the algae. A lot of nice components is coming up very at the very beginning. And then during the summer, a lot of them is turned into uh, simple sugars as glucose, which we can then easily, very easily turn into ethanol. Since the algae are not protected as per terrestrial plants with lignin, so we can just uh, use a milling process, add enzymes and do directly fermentation. So it's a simple feedstock, but it changes over the season. So it's not just harvesting algae and get a lot of biomass. It's also a matter of knowing what is inside this biomass 
and how can we then design our biorefinery for getting the best out of it. I think that's the most important knowledge we have today. I would say algae on a big scale is needed when you look at uh, feedstock, algae feedstock for energy, because it's a huge, big market. Also, when it comes to food and fertilizer, uh, food and feed ingredients maybe as well, but it's a smaller market. When it comes to uh, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals, you could just as well maybe uh, do it on a quite smaller scale, but cultivating um, the very right uh, algae with very specific properties, very specific uh, components inside. I'm here to present uh, one of uh, Techno Danish Technological Institute's uh, very big project on algae research, where we um, look at the whole chain from cultivation, harvesting, conditioning, conversion, and also feasibility and uh, e economic and ev evaluation of the whole process. It's, um, I have, I'm here to present this project, which is financed by the Strategic uh, Research Council. Uh, and I'm also here uh, to meet other scientists and the industry who could be interested in these uh, technologies in the future. And uh, I can feel a, a very good motivation, a, a very big interest in this uh, field. I just heard from some of our Italian colleagues um, that they, they think that Denmark is quite uh, uh, far in their research and development on algae, even though I think we are just in the beginning. I can say abroad, they feel that, or they think, obviously, that uh, we are at the frontier, <laughs> yes. <laughs>